Take four. Checking out the quality. You can see in every grain of hair on my damn face. <laughs> Checking out the hair up top. Looking good, looking good. Just watch it to mark fit right now. One of my inspirations. Very first YouTuber I've ever seen. I also like Matt Ogus and Christian Guzman. Three inspirations. Guzman pretty much lives the life that I've always wanted to live. And funny story behind that. I was on an express bus. And I was sat down looking out the window. Now, scenery. Put a little scenery in your head. Um, I sat down and I just realized I'm an athlete. And I stopped playing hockey. I played hockey my whole life since I was four years old. And I realized that I want to do something to help other people get better at sports, get better at their in their lives, get better at anything, just look better, feel better. And I envisioned this gym with a turf field, some battle ropes, some sleds, pull up bars, dip bars like squat racks, deadlift racks, everywhere. I just pictured myself picking up a trap bar in front of 30 little kids, individually training clients. And I just recently actually came across Guzman's videos and I was amazed. He is my age, 23 years old, but he has the exact gym that I was envisioning in my head. Maybe the color scheme was a little off. I was thinking about some red and black. But it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. And I decided in the heat of the moment, as you can tell, this new camera and the new 3 terabyte drive that I have. My grandfather passed away and he gave me his... No pro, no pro, as he would call it, because it was a knockoff of a GoPro. It was pretty much a GoPro. Um, I took videos with a GoPro for like two weeks straight. Um, I realized that I wouldn't be able to record myself like I'm doing right now. It wouldn't be that good. I feel, I feel kind of good at doing this, actually. It's pretty fun. But the second I picked up his no pro, I realized that I have to accomplish something now. My life needs to accomplish something. And I laid in bed. And I go to school. I go to school every single semester. I guess you can say I'm smart. I've been smart my whole life. Um, I'm good at math. I'm good at science. I enjoy creative things. But I was always, always, always an athlete. Always. Played hockey every single day of my life. I was a goalie, no less. And I don't know where this is going right now, but I definitely, 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 right, enjoyed athletics more than school. And I went back to school and I want to be a doctor. And then I stopped wanting to be a doctor. So I wasted a whole year traveling an hour and a half a day into the city. Then I wanted to be a stockbroker. So I stayed at that school, business school, Baruch in the city, New York City. And I realized that I don't need business school to be a stockbroker. And I can learn investments on my own. So I did. So I came back to Staten Island. Mainland Staten Island. Not the city, as most people will call it. But what I realized was... I was always good at math and science, and why not do engineering? So that's what I'm doing right now. But this, this, I've been watching people like Matt Ogus and Elliot Hulse from the day they first started. I've watched them day in and day out make new videos, and I told myself this is what I wanted to do. And then when I finally saw Christian Guzman, I was like, this is, this is it. This is exactly what I'll be doing with my life. And it just so happens that my grandfather passes away and I have this revelation 
a second time and I just start. That's that's it. Just start. That's a lesson for today. One of my friends told me, and it's kind of corny, it's very Nike-ish, just do it. And to explain exactly what he meant by just do it was do something for the first 20 hours. It's like jumping in a pool, he told me. Imagine jumping in a pool and you're there in there for 20 minutes, right? A freezing cold pool. Are you going to get out of the pool? No, it feels warm now. It's fine. Your body adjusted to it. In life, you take 20 hours, whether it be coding, whether it be math, videoing yourself. This is five minutes, six, seven minutes. I video myself in the gym for maybe an hour. 20 hours. Learn how to video edit. And if after 20 hours of grueling work, of you actually working, if you don't like what you're doing, then you stop. Like, maybe my grandfather passing away was a blessing in disguise because before he passed away I was not going to do this this was not on my agenda for the next year I was going to learn to code and I was learning to code I was using free code camp and I was on the computer 6-7 hours a day which is fine because I was still hitting my gym time still going to the gym still losing weight I needed to lose I lost 2 or 3 pounds in the 2 weeks I was coding and then all of a sudden my grandfather passed away and I took a whole week off and I picked up the camera and that was it. I knew that I wasn't going to code. I'm very ADD-ish like that. But when I find something I really enjoy, and I think I'll be very good at this, because I've talked for seven minutes straight and I really haven't stopped, that gym will be mine. Whether I have to take an engineering job to make up for the money, whether my new personal training was going to make me enough money to open the gym, whatever it is, the one person you need to make happy in life is yourself. If your mother and father truly love you, if your brothers truly love you, your girlfriend, your sisters, anybody, if they truly care about you, they will trust that you could work hard. They will trust the process that you're going through. And by trusting that process, they're in trusting you and trusting in your future. And that's really all you can do. You can just, just make sure they trust you. Make Actually, they don't even need to trust you, to be 100% honest, but... You need to trust in yourself, but say someone like your mother or father put pressure on you to go to a good career. Like say my mom and dad want me to be an engineer. I want to be an engineer. I mean, it's a very prestigious job. The problem is that when I look at the jobs, I just, I just don't love them, you know? I don't really say, oh my God, I need to do this for the rest of my life. Now, building a gym and having a clientele and helping little kids and helping older people, helping people my age diet for shows, Di giving people diets, giving people workouts, that I love. That's, I've loved since I'm 14 years old. That I can do every day of my life. I can be an engineer because I'm intelligent enough and I have work ethic, but I don't love it. So I can make money and it's going to be a means to an end, but this is truly what I'm going to do with my life. And I know for a fact because I'm looking at myself right now and now I'm looking at you guys. I love this and this is what I'm going to do for the rest of my life. And now I have to shut the camcorder off and I don't know how to do it.